Hello, my name is Daniel Olson, and today I want to make a video about uh, what kind of video camera I use during my traveling. Okay, because I always receive some questions. People ask me, what kind of camera do you use for your videos? I did not answer these questions for two reasons. One, I don't want to do the commercial for any companies. Two, I have too many cameras, so I cannot answer this question. But today, how we choose a video camera for travel videos, I show you all the video cameras I have used. Of course, not all of them, it's only some of them. Now, please. First, I would like to start with this uh, Canon, Canon XV1. This is the earliest camera I have used for my travel videos. It's a DV camera, supposed to be uh, one of the best in the world by that time. And it has a very good quality. Uh, but it's DV, now it's not uh, easy to use, but I will show you how to use it in another video. You know, I have a problem. That is, if I like something, I always buy two or three or four, <laughs> buy more than one. For example, this camera, actually I have two, I bought two. I was so afraid that uh, this one will be broken, then I need another one. So uh, the, the one I really used very much, I have given to one of my, uh, uh, okay, friend, okay, <laughs> I, 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 a very young friend. I hope that he is going to make a good use of it and become a filmmaker. And this is one I almost not used. It almost new, as good as new. Uh, everything is is uh, perfect condition. Plus, I have a Sony wide angle lens because for this, this camera there was no wide angle, so I plus a wide angle lens lens from Sony camera. So this is a DV. Uh, this camera, by that time, I think it's a 1999 or something. It cost like a 3,500 US dollars. But today, that's not worth much money. Uh, I guess like uh, three or 400 dollars you can get it. Or you can get it from me, if you like, <laughs> for this price. And uh, this is a Victor. I think this is the, the best of Victor camera I used for all my uh, European travel. It's GZHD7B. Okay, GZHD7B. Uh, I think this is the one of the best of Victor cameras. It has a uh, Fujino lens. Fujino lens. Uh, what 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 is about Fujino lens is that uh, it is a professional uh, lens first in the history used for civilian camera. I used this camera for all my European tour in 2013. I carry this camera everywhere. It has a beautiful, beautiful color. Please check the video and see how this camera performs. Now it is still in perfect condition. So if you like it, <laughs> yes, you can have it too. And this one is a very small Sony. I had it in uh, Washington three years ago during my birthday with a very dear friend there. And I bought it in the Best Buy very cheaply, but uh, it performs beautifully. This is Sony, uh, Sony CX240, Sony CX240, yes. Uh, it's a Carzes lens. It's small, it's very compact, but it's very easy to carry, very easy to use. It performs beautifully, it has a very good image. Maybe it's because of the Carzes lens. So this is the camera actually I use the most. I carry this camera everywhere, okay? Use this daily, even until today. By the way, this camera is not expensive. I remember in USA, I bought like a $250 something. And in Japan, I just bought a, another model very similar to this. It's a 480, 
five, yes, CX485 for like 400 US dollars. Now I'm using this camera uh, to the video. Uh, somehow I used a Nikon before, but uh, I have never been a really a Canon fan. But somehow I have been using Canon cameras all these years. So I introduced some of the Canon cameras I have used. Uh, this one is uh, HG10. HG10. This is I think in 2008 or something. It has good uh, big lens. Okay, 43 uh, lens and uh, 40 gigabyte um, hard disk. The best thing for this camera is it has all menu for all languages. It has Chinese, uh, Spanish any language <laughs> okay you can have the menu so this is a camera i really recommend if you uh, use only one camera so this is the camera where you do the traveling okay this camera used to be i think like over one thousand dollars one thousand two hundred dollars but now you can get it for like a 300 us dollars in japan if you if you want it yes <laughs> it's yours so this one is uh not HG but HF10. HF10 is a very small, compact, simple, simple camera, but it has all the functions. The best thing is that for Canon cameras, it functions. You can have all the menu setting. You can have uh, uh, automatic. You can have all the menu. Uh, anyway, you can do a lot of things instead of uh, Sony camera. It's really very very simple. You can't really do much. You can just uh, start and shoot but this you can do a lot of setting by yourself this camera is also very very cheap now i think when it's new also cost like a one thousand dollars something I i'm not sure but now you can get also like a three hundred dollars uh, very very cheap here in japan and this one is uh, the canon h f 11 it's exactly the same like a 10 but difference is this has a 32 uh, gigabyte uh, inbuilt uh, memory but the 10 have only 16 that's the only difference but it does not m make much difference because you can always use SD card okay you can use uh, 32 SD card just film on the SD card so it's much easier to use hard disk so 10 and 11 does not make much difference okay I put a uh, wide angle lens here but uh, the original without wide angle lens. This one is uh, XA30. I have XA10, I have G20, and this is uh, the professional one. But this is expensive now. It's cost me, I bought it only half a year ago, I think cost me like uh, $2,000. This is for, for, for fresh professional use. Okay, I like this camera very much. And uh, recently I started shooting film by this camera. The next camera I use is uh, Canon uh, 6D. I know uh, 5D uh, 3 or 4 is better, but the 6D is lighter because I'm traveling and uh, I need uh, the weight is very important. And also, uh, be very frankly, I'm not so uh, crazy about the uh, Canon lens. This is uh, 24 to 105 uh, f4 lens, but um, Somehow I don't like the color of um, Canon lens. It seems a little bit uh, cold and uh, lack of feeling. It's like a, a factory made violin anyway. So recently I'm being crazy about CarZS lens. I show you a few lenses I'm using. All these are CarZS lens I'm using now. I have um, uh, 28 and 50 and uh, 85, 135, and 180 for f1.4 or f2.8. Okay, these are lenses I'm using now. Uh, I like the CarZS lens much better than Canon lens. Now I conclude my uh, this program to show you what kind of video camera I use for my traveling. Okay, I hope you find it helpful. And also, if you would like to have some of my cameras, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. I will 
let you have it for a very reasonable price. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Keep watching my travel videos, please. Okay, I will start travel again very soon to Sri Lanka, to India. I will make a lot of good story, good videos for all of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Daniel Olson here in Nagoya, Japan.